We're very pleased to have with us uh, Representative Gary Bands from uh, Midwest City, uh, District 101. So welcome and tell us about District 101. What's in your district? Thank you, John, for the invitation to be here and share with you a little sure. bit about uh, uh, the people that I get to represent at the state capitol. Great. I'm honored beyond words of description to uh, be able to be their voice and their face, unfortunately, <laughs> in the uh, Oklahoma House of Representatives, House District 101 uh, is, uh, th there are only 101 districts. Uh, it was added uh, in 1972. There were, uh, prior to that time, uh, there were 99 districts and they picked up two in 72. So for the last 40 years, there have been 101 districts and, and I represent uh, the area, basically of East Midwest City, uh, Nakoma Park, Choctaw, south of 23rd Street, northeast 23rd, uh, and then it, <coughs> it meanders on out east uh, between 89th and 29th, uh, all the way out to Pot County. Obviously, uh, Midwest City, the major enterprise there is the Air Force Base, I'm assuming, and is that right? Tink Tinker Air Force Base, uh, depending on uh, the time you check the numbers, but uh, in excess of 25,000 people call that home during the work hours. Uh, the vast majority of that is civilian work population. And uh, it draws, as you well know, from uh, uh, a large segment of central Oklahoma, but uh, we have a large number of people that live in the district that I represent that work at Tinker Air Force Base or who are employed in businesses that uh, have a direct relationship with Tinker Air Force Base, the aerospace industry, and uh, then, of course, uh, whatever businesses uh, pop up to support the needs of people. They have to be fed and clothed and housed and, and uh, uh, doctored and educated and all those kind of things that are uh, significantly uh, byproducts of a, an employer of that magnitude. Well, speaking of that, the, uh, the needs of the people and so forth, what is it about your district that um, if we were to look at the whole state and average it out, how would your district compared to the whole state as far as uh, the demographics and that sort of thing, the, the economics, <coughs> education? Well, the, the district itself, as it has changed a little bit uh, with the new uh, districting plan, uh, has a lot more rural uh, components to it now than it did the last 10 years. So there's a, it's a suburban district by definition, but uh, I picked up 25 square miles of uh, what I would call, particularly in the urban area, uh, a rural area. There are large acreages and there's a, a cattle and, and uh, hay operations and those kind of things in southeast Oklahoma County. Uh, but the suburban portion of it would be uh, somewhat similar to just about anything you would find on any quadrant uh, surrounding Oklahoma City. Uh, so it would be labeled urban suburban in that regard. And, and uh, I think uh, we're probably pretty reflective of of uh, most of Oklahoma, excluding the, the overtly rural portions that would be exclusively rural. Uh, a lot of the people that uh, I represent in House District 101 uh, have roots in rural Oklahoma that have made their way to, to the urban suburban areas and found jobs and work here and, and certainly have that perspective in their own, uh, in their own past. Uh, and as a result, I think uh, f to a large extent, uh, they think probably a whole lot alike uh, most Oklahomans would think. <laughs> well, speaking of that, what are some of the big issues in your district that you're especially interested in? Well, that they're especially interested yes. in. Yes, uh, John. Any anybody who represents House District 101 uh, has has got to pay attention to several what I would call subgroups that uh, and and so issues that would be particularly. Uh, uh, identified with that subgroup are going to be important to that representative to be their voice and so you're constantly monitoring those kind of things. Uh, I'd start off with municipal government. Anything that's going to impact municipalities, I've got the city of Midwest City, Nakoma Park, Choctaw and Ward 4 of Southeast Oklahoma City. Uh, you can't go very far without looking at things that happen with regard to school districts. So uh, I've got the Middell, a big portion of the Middell School District in Choctaw Nakoma Park, uh, and it uh, now will go on out toward McLeod. So any kind of issue that's going to impact uh, common education is, is something that I've got to pay attention to. Uh, before I was in the legislature, I was uh, served as a, a regent at Rose State College. 
even though the college itself is not located in the uh, district that I represent, a large number of people who work there uh, and have a specific interest in it live in the district. And so I've, I've got, I feel like I have a, an obligation to pay attention to things that impact higher ed and or specifically the community college uh, industry. Uh, Rose State College uh, is a, a significant player in our community. Another one would be uh, things that have to do with health and health issues. Midwest Regional Hospital serves all of eastern Oklahoma County. Uh, uh, obviously there's uh, the, a lot of the medical community down in the Capitol Complex and, and all over, uh, particularly northwest Oklahoma City, but for eastern residents in eastern Oklahoma County, uh, Midwest Regional is uh, a, a, not only a big employer, but uh, things that impact them uh, we have to pay attention to. Uh, Chambers of Commerce, you've got a very active uh, Midwest City Chamber of Commerce uh, and Choctaw Chamber of Commerce. and so. Uh, and then uh, anything that has to do with military, uh, aerospace industry uh, that would directly affect them, uh, I have to pay attention to those kinds of, of, of things. And then just what I would call the average taxpayer, the average citizen that's interested in, in how their life's going to be impacted based on decisions that are made at 23rd and Lincoln. So <clears throat> all of those are kind of subgroups that, that you have to pay attention to. They all have... They all have events you need to attend, uh, banquets and golf tournaments and fundraisers and and uh, you just you uh, I, I guess the the thing that uh, most of the time that I try to keep in in, in front of me is the uh, the necessity of my being accessible and uh, that I will listen. Those are two promises I make to the people in the district I represent that anybody who represents that area would uh, would do well to to embrace. And so I'm constantly interfacing with all of those subgroups uh, when they have events and, and uh, things that are important to them. And in doing so, give them the opportunity to voice their opinion to me and, and uh, in that way, hopefully uh, have a grasp of uh, the things that are important to them. Well, great. Uh, let me ask you, because you were talking about the, the needs of the community today what has that area changed much in the past 10 years and what do you think is going to look like 10 years down the road do you think do you see any particular growth within the base or something uh, to that effect i don't as, know as as you look at the uh, the dynamics or the uh, composition of that district population wise uh, it grew uh, there's uh, the city of midwest city is pretty much landlocked but there's a lot of unincorporated area out in oklahoma county in southeast oklahoma and Choctaw uh, has had a great deal of, of growth as well. Uh, and there are tracks that are being developed for residential uh, areas and, and we can compete in my view with any quadrant of the, of the metropolitan area in terms of our offerings along that line. Uh, the, the District 101 as it was configured the last 10 years actually had growth of two or 3,000 but we, uh, we went from uh, uh, the last 10 years, each representative representing a little over 35,000 people to 37,142. That's the, the exact number that we had to redistrict on and did so in the House with a 1% variance up or uh, above or below. Do you have anything you'd like to just wrap up, something that you'd like for folks to know about your district or the issues in your district uh, as we move ahead? I, th I think... Uh, the future is bright for Eastern Oklahoma County, and particularly uh, House District 101. Um, we're we're going to rise and fall to a large extent on what happens in the aerospace industry and Tinker Air Force Base and and people who are associated with that that industry, either active duty military. Um, but uh, it's a very dynamic, uh, forward thinking and and a forward looking group of people. And uh, it again, as I stated at the beginning, I'm thrilled to have the opportunity to be their representative at the state capitol. Well, great. We appreciate the opportunity for you to be here with us and share this information with the folks of Oklahoma. Thanks for being here. You bet.